Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as I saw by the title, is a makeup haul. So I recently just bought a lot of makeup for no reason, actually. Um, and so I wanted to share with you all the makeup that I've gotten recently. Um, of course, I have my Primark makeup, but I actually did a Primark haul, so I didn't really feel like I needed to share all of the products that I got from there again. I do have some products that I actually went back and purchased after I did that haul already. So I do, I am going to share with you a couple of those. But most of this stuff is product. Like I have some Sephora makeup, some makeup from Target. Just a bunch of different products. I've, is that for, I think it was from Walgreens or something like that. Like a bunch of different makeup that I just have bought over the time. That's why it's just a makeup haul. So, um, I don't want this video to take too long. I kind of just want it to be like a very light, you just watch it while you're cleaning or something kind of video. So, without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so let me start with my Primark makeup. I actually picked up two uh, new uh, lip kits from there, but I'm going to do a dedicated video to those. Um, so I didn't want to talk too much about them, and I don't have both of them with me right here. So I just was like, you know what, just let you know that I bought two more. Just they're not in this video. Um, but I also picked up, oh my gosh, two Primark, so two PS Liquid Metal eyeshadows. And um, I have the shades sub-zero and frosted so i want to just swatch them this one is the shade frosted I'm just gonna swatch it and then this one is the shade sub-zero so here's frosted and here's sub-zero so sub-zero as you can see is like a lot more glittery almost and it's a little bit more like um not as pigmented because of the glitters in it. So this one's more of like um, Sub-Zero. I feel like it's more of a topper. You put it on top of a shade and stuff like that. And this is exactly how they come off on the eye as well. I've used them a couple times. And then the shade um, Frosted is super gorgeous on the eye. Oh my goodness, I love this one. So pretty. Um, it's just like a pinky purpley. It does come off a little pinky on the eye. So um, just keep that in mind too. I really like these. They were five dollars each so this is kind of up there but you think about like the steel ones that are like 20 something dollars so um this is a great great purchase i think if you're just trying to cream eyeshadow i think uh, i'd recommend picking these up so i got these um i'm gonna be doing a dedicated dedicated video to cream products as well so that'll be in there and then i also picked up this ps prep and perfect glow illuminating skin primer i used this once and like like, I don't have really a good opinion on it. I don't know if I like it or not. Um, I don't hate it, so that's a good thing. But it looks like this. It definitely goes on the thing, and it puts, like, shimmers down on your face. Um, you just look a lot more glowy than you do without it. So I like I like how, you know, it really is what you say, it said it was. Um, it didn't make you think that it was going to be glowy and then be something else. So I like that. Um, and it looks really, really pretty. I'm excited to keep trying it, especially for summer. I'm wondering if, like... Like, if I just rub that all over my face, will my face just look glowy and then, like, I can go out like that and my face is just glowing? I don't know. Like, I would love to do that for summer. So, we'll see. I'm really excited, though, because this is super pretty. And this was only $5, so super great price, I think, for an entire primer like this. Um, so, those are the products that I got from Primark. Now to... Um, I actually picked this up when I did my Primark haul as well, but I got this from Walgreens. Um, these are the LA Colors Rose eyeshadow palette and the LA Colors Nude eyeshadow palettes. They were both like $3. So uh, they were under, they were like $4. That's how much they were. Um, it was like $3.79 or something like that. Um, super, super cheap. And I wanted to just try them out and see how it was. I have swatched them a little bit. And I kind of mentioned these in my... Uh, Primark haul I think it was but I do want to do a dedicated video to these still I'm gonna have a week of reviews so that I re so that pushes me to actually review the products and use the products um, and those are just two swatches right there because um, I just feel like uh, so unmotivated to actually review it but I want to because they're so cheap and like if these are really good like people need to go get them um, so this is the rose one 
definitely rosy super pretty i don't like when they write the like names in there because they're usually wrong like i'm not gonna put a okay i'm not gonna put this shimmer in my crease so don't write it you know what i'm saying Maybe that's just me. And then the nudes one is, of course, a lot more nude. Um, I probably should could have only just picked this one up because it does still have some of the, um, like, uh, neutral berry shades, kind of rose kind of shades. But it also has, like, neutrals and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I like this one, too. It's very pretty, very neutral. Definitely both two, two palettes I don't need in my collection. But I decided, you know what? Why not just buy them? So I did. And hopefully I um, get around to doing the review on those. Okay, and then let's go with next I picked up from Target. So I actually, um, if you guys follow my Instagram, I posted a picture of some beautiful, beautiful blushes. And I picked up two Lottie London blushes. They actually started selling Lottie London at my Target and I was shook because Lottie London's super cheap and super good. I actually got a Lottie, Lottie London blush in my Ipsy a little bit ago, and so I, that's how I like knew about the brand. Um, and I was, <gasps> I love that blush, but the blush that shade that I had was a little bit deep, so I wasn't like super super into it. Um, so I ended up decluttering it. But then I saw these that are way way more wearable shades, so I picked these up. I have the shade Justin, which is this pretty pretty pink shade, and then the shade uh, Drake which is like a peachier neuter kind of shade um just definitely different you can see the differences within them i can swatch justin and then drake this is um this is justin and this is drake right here so just very very pretty blushes and i think on the face they're so nice it is kind of a powderier formula, but I do really, really like them. And this packaging is like calling my name. I love it. I'm in it. So I was really excited about those. They were only five bucks as well, so super cheap. All right, so then I ordered something from Sephora. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you the um, samples as well because I'm kind of excited about them. So I actually picked up the Precisely, the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Um, they had it for 12 bucks, and I was like, it's, it's calling me and you guys know I'm really not picky on my brow pencil I love me my elf brow pencil that's just basic two bucks two bucks basic brow pencil and I love it but I really wanted to just have I don't know have a high-end brow product on hand I don't know why I want to end up having a high-end product for each category just because and I don't know I just want to um so i picked up this um i've heard a lot of great things about it so i'm really excited i got the shade 4.5 i don't know how it works because i haven't um used it yet because i'm waiting for my wet and wild brow pencil to run out but after that i will be all over this because i'm really excited about this thing and then i also picked up um with samples that came with it was this random super goop powder on I don't know it's spf um with 40 spf 45 and it's translucent it's a setting powder i don't know but it's a sample thing that i really wanted to try see how it is and then um i got which is more exciting this naked skin uh weightless complete coverage concealer sample so i was really excited because um everybody talks about this and so a lot of people hate it but a lot of people like love it so you get that really 50 50 so it's gonna be cool to figure out kind of how i feel where my stand is on this and then i did sample a jouet concealer like this and i was in it in it so we we're gonna try this try this i'm gonna be trying it in a video soon so stay tuned for that and then oh my gosh the next thing i picked up it's this is bad this is the i just got the package in today actually this is the fenty beauty um like low bronze duo that's what it's called it looks like this so i got the shade um caramel cutie in the bronzer and then i got the 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 only matchstick that it comes with um which is cinnamon cinnamon but like a sin cinnamon um but um i just picked this up today so i'm literally opening it for the first time or i just got it in today the back is so cute i was really excited because i wanted to try this bronzer like right when i saw it but i didn't know because like 
they're kind of expensive like do i want to spend that much on a bronzer and this little packaging is so cute oh my goodness i love it i want to get the um highlight that's in this mini as well so again i got the shade caramel cutie and it looks like this that actually looks like it's going to be a really nice bronzer shade especially in the summer it's a little bit deeper but it's not like super, super deep. And hopefully the formula you can blend out easily. And um, it looks like it, honestly, because I just blended that out on my hand. But oh my gosh, look, it has a little Fenty Beauty and a little mirror. And it's so cute. Okay, I'm kind of shook. I'm obsessed. I need more of these. I really like how she does minis because you can try them. And although like a lot of people say like getting minis is like a waste of money because like per grams or whatever you're wasting this much money but i think like samples are really nice because you don't know if you like it like what if i hate it and i just spent 50 dollars on this like that sucks so um i was really excited about this this feller and then i also can it also comes with the um match stick which i've never tried any of these match sticks before and again this is in the shade cinnamon and it looked like a beautiful highlight it had the thing had said like use it as a um like bronzer like a con glowy contour and honestly that would be a really pretty glowy contour but i feel like i also could use it for, like on my body and like just glow in the summer and like glow glow um with this pretty pretty thing i can't even show you properly it's right here it is super glowy so i'm in it it would be a nice bronzer because it is a really nice bronzer shade i think but we all see and i love this packaging oh this is so cute it's so cute I need to like put all my Fenty collection together because it is just adorable. I'm in, I'm in it. I'm in it. Um, so yes, and then some samples that I got. I got this Tatcha the water cream um, sample. Um, again, I'm try excited to try that. Tatcha anything you get in a sample, I always take because like people rave about it so much that I'm like, I, I need to try something. And then I got this perfume, which is the Erin perfume in something blossom. I don't really know like that and then i haven't even smelled this i like getting these perfume samples i used to have a couple and then my sister stole them Ooh, that is pretty that's pretty it's not my favorite but it smells nice it smells very light and airy so uh, we're gonna put that to the side and then the last thing that i hauled myself um was this brush oh my gosh you know what i just realized the name isn't even on here but I threw away the box. Crap. Um, I got this brush at TJ Maxx. And I don't know what brand it was or anything like that. Because there's nothing on here. But it's just this big fluffy brush that I got for bronzer. And I love it. I used it yesterday. And I just love the shape of it. Love the way it applies bronzer. I'm excited to see how it works with this little baby. Because it's like super small, tiny. But who knows. I'm obsessed with this though. But I love this brush. I've used it a couple times. So I was really excited about that. And then lastly, I have one honorable mention that was not a haul item, but I have the best friend in the whole world. Um, so Trista, this one's for you. So you guys know how I've been collecting my e.l.f. studio blushes, whatever they're called. Well, she actually bought me the e.l.f. blush in the shade Candid Curl, Coral, and she sent it to me. Um, and it was the nicest thing ever, and I was so excited, and it's so beautiful. And... Um, now I have all five and I freaking love it. It is just so pretty. And again, it's like that. It's right here on top of there was something else down there. But it's just like a pretty, pretty corally. It's literally coral. And I love it. And I'm so excited that I have all five now. And it's super thoughtful. And I love you so much, Trista. So thank you. You're the best person alive. I love you. It also came with this e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face thing that I wanted to sample. So that's really exciting too because I wanted to try this. So really, that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.